Hello everyone. Welcome back to Jeb and Cooks, bringing cooking back home. What are you gonna do for dinner tonight? Saturday, I don't know, everyone's probably busy. I know I have, I've been in the garden trying to get that ready, watching the kids, went shopping, did a bunch of things. Went out to the creek, took the kids to the creek, it was a nice day, and now it's time to eat. So we're gonna do something real simple here, something real easy. Um, we have a pork tenderloin here. So not a pork loin, a pork tenderloin. So. It's a little more uh, lean. It's um, it's just a little more. It's more tender, and it's it's really affordable. So we're gonna do that with some roasted mushrooms, and um, we're gonna do some cheesy potato cakes. So we got some smoked gouda and uh, potatoes. So we'll make some potato cakes. I'll show you how to do that. And so let's get started. Let's go. Come on. All right. First off, we're gonna start with some a couple cloves of garlic and a little bit of rosemary. Crush that there. What are you guys eating tonight? You know, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know what you're cooking on a Saturday night, even if, or even if you're at home. Let me know what you're doing. Going out, not going out, take out. Let me know. All right, so we got the garlic like that. This is a really easy trick. We're just gonna chop them up both together, okay? And we'll just take the rosemary off the stem. You wanna Kind of do it backwards, but these leaves are real tender, so uh, it doesn't really matter. So there we go. That should be enough rosemary. I know it's enough rosemary. We're just gonna chop them both together, just like that. So we can hurry up and get this done, right? We're gonna get this done as soon as possible. Make sure when you're chopping, you're just rocking the knife back and forth, just like this, so it's real fine. So there we go there. Add that to here, All right? And then we're just gonna add some salt. All right, we're gonna generously salt this, this, right? All right, we got it salted, mix it up, and then we'll preheat the oven and we'll get started on the potatoes. All right, so next are the potato cakes. Um, I just boil a couple and cool them down. Now I'm gonna take the skins off of them. Uh, but a lot of times I have leftover mashed potatoes. You can use that, you know, to make these. So just switch it up. You know, the kids get tired of, can't do mashed potatoes every night. You know what I mean? Can't do roasted potatoes every night. So we're just gonna switch, switch this up from this one time. We'll get these peeled and we'll show you how it's done. All right, so potatoes are peeled, added a little bit of cream. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of butter too. If you, uh, if you're using leftover mashed potatoes, you don't need to add butter. You should have already put it in there. <laughs> All right, cool, I'm just gonna mash, just like I mashed mashed potatoes. And then we'll put our uh, cakes together. All right, so they're all mashed up, nice and soft. Now we're gonna add our ingredients. So we'll add some salt. I don't never measure, I go by feel. So we'll do two pinches right there. That should be good. We're gonna add some bacon. I know guys, bacon, I know. I don't eat bacon all the time. I rarely, rarely eat bacon. I know it's not the best for you, but um, I don't ever eat it. So there you go. And then we're gonna add our smoked Gouda. We're gonna start with a pretty good amount right there. Maybe just a little more. Here, you want some? I don't want cheese, of course, right? Here you go. All right, cool, we're gonna mix this up and we'll start making the, the patties or the cakes or whatever you wanna call it. All right, so we have a little mixture here. What we're gonna do is just take however you wanna do them. If you wanna do patties, you do patties. I'm kinda gonna do these cakes. So I kinda just take my hand like that, circle, and I just do that. And I pat the top and the bottom. So I make these nice little, nice little cakes. All right, we're gonna get these all caked out. We'll be right back. All right, so I just got a little bit of flour on a plate here. Just coat each side, rub it in a little bit if you need to. You don't need very much, you just need a little coating. Okay, so we'll do that to all these and then we'll get to cooking. All right, we're gonna start with the pork first. We already have a uh, we cooked our bacon in this pan, so we'll just use the same pan, same grease. So we're just gonna brown it on all sides. 
I'm going to start the oven and I'm going to set it for 415. And then we'll start the potato cake. Alright, next we're just gonna sear the potato cake on each side. I got butter in a pan here. We'll get them in there and we'll flip them here in a minute. Alright, so the pork is all nice and seared. Nice and golden brown. Exactly what you want. Fill in those juices. And now it's gonna go in the oven. Probably keep it in the oven for like 15 minutes. We'll have to check it out and see where we're at. All right, next we want to flip the cakes now. This is a little tricky, a little delicate movement, so you got to use your hands. All right, so there we go. Now we're getting the color that we want. All right, pork is ready to come out. Like I said, about 15 minutes. Um, we'll go ahead and turn off the oven and then we'll set the potato cakes in so we can get back up to 10. We'll let the pork rest, it's nice. It's in the cast iron, so it's still cooking. I got the mushrooms in when I put them in the oven, so we'll be ready to head up here in a minute. All right, so the pork is done. All we're gonna do is slice it. I'm gonna start from the middle. And we'll plate it up here in a minute. All right, everybody, there it is. Simple dinner that the kids can enjoy. It's not too, not too much going on. All right, that's it. Real simple, fairly quick. Only took me about 45 minutes to get that done. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you all later. Have a good night. God bless.